to, in, to open the aperture to God's love, to become God's love. Again, you are it, but to know it, to feel it, to let it ooze out of you, to let it be this transformative alchemical power wherever you go, so that everything you touch turns to gold. Sometimes gold has a reaction to love that seems to be a little bit bitter. But nevertheless, ultimately, long term, it will have an effect that is alchemical. Not everyone will appreciate you coming up to them with love or you just radiating love. Over time, it will marinate, those seeds will be planted, and it will grow into the tree of love. But uh, another practical way is to intensify your service to others. Okay, This has been a big portion of my own journey. And this is what NLS is really all about, No Limits Society. It's training free agents. Uh, for the ignition of global awakening, to really constitute ourselves. And I, right now I'm just extending this intention to everyone who's watching this outside of NLS as well. The intention is that at least for you to know that if you want to, you can be constituted as a shepherd, you can be constituted in service to others in a way that benefits you. It's not, it doesn't have to be martyrdom. It doesn't have to be self-sacrificial in a negative sense. You just have to sacrifice your arrogance, which for a lot of people feels negative, but it is positive. It is positive to give up your notions of right and wrong. It's positive to give up your ideas about what you are. It is positive to not believe in yourself so that you can attain to faith and know God and from that mystery operate from love, from a timelessness. It's, a, it's more than positive. It's enlightening. However, it can seem negative sometimes because we're holding on to this candlelight. We don't want to let go of the little gremlin illuminated intelligence that we think we have when we could turn the other cheek to ourselves and gaze upon the source of all that is and surrender to that and imbibe in that frequency. Recognize that and come from that. And when we become constituted, just like Ra said, then the adept no longer is a personality in the sense with which it began its learning journey. You become more than a personality. Your personality becomes empty, becomes a shapeshifter. It becomes a mirror of whoever it is meeting. It becomes a chameleon. It's no longer yours. Your person now belongs to the people. And fortunately or unfortunately, that's all they'll know you by for the most part. So they'll think that as you. But that's part of the self-sacrifice. Can you give up that last bit of people don't understand me? Oh, people misjudge me. People misperceive my intentions. People misperceive why I said that. Can you let go of even that and turn away from that candlelight stake and turn towards the Creator once again? As God, as sorry, as Ra said, same thing ultimately. As Ra said, one who becomes the Creator becomes the most humble servant of all, completely transparent in personality and able to know other selves. And so it's like that. But your personality becomes a jacket that you wear, a suit that you pick that day or that moment. Every moment you pick another suit. And this becomes more and more intuitively, intelligently guided over time. It becomes automatic. You meet somebody, you don't even know a thing about them. And somehow you feel yourself distort yourself in a certain way because you're matching their vibration. Now make sure you maintain the frequency of love throughout that so that you don't get swallowed up in the jackets you're wearing. But you see, you become more than just a person. That's my main point here. I won't go too deeply into this because it's more technical and stuff. It's not the intention for this retreat. I want to keep it accessible. But, but you will find yourself opening up to the ability, to capacity to meet people where they're at while not getting swallowed up in that act of service, but automatically, more and more automatically, wanting to give the light of God, the love of God, wanting to give of yourself, wanting to make yourself available for service to others. And it's a very powerful way to further open, sometimes the current get open a little bit, because it's not always easy to be of service to others in the face of challenge and personal emotions, is it? Just with the forgiveness, when you're feeling the hurt and the righteousness, it's not that easy to completely forgive that whole experience. But you can do it. And the time to do it is now. And it will serve you more than them even. It will serve them too greatly, but it will serve you the most. So do this, give this gift of forgiveness and activate yourself more in service to others because it also keeps the aperture more open. If your daily life is more, well, how can I be of service? How can my will be thy will? In other words, how can I serve the whole? No longer see myself as a separate particle, but sort of wave along with this ocean, this dreamscape, and just kind of blend with it and kind of be of service to it. Not without any personal boundaries or 
energy management, but nevertheless opening yourself up more and more to simply the intent to be of service to others, for thy will to be my will, to have that surrender, to have that passion and compassion. Because there's a lot of people out there, my friends, seeking and yearning and striving. And I mean, you guys are too, to some degree, but you have this excess. You have these teachings, you have this community and so forth. But there's a lot of people, millions and millions and billions, that are seeking, they're yearning, they're craving, they're calling. If you could hear the energy, it'd be overwhelming. There was a time in my life when several times a week, I'd be bawling my eyes out. After a while, I realized, well, I, I, sh I just kind of have to shut this off because it's not practical um, beyond a certain point. So I learned what I needed to learn from that. And I can open it up to it anytime. I can open that valve and I can have a good cry for humanity. I can he hear, I can hear the collective crying out. I can hear their suffering. And as, as part of what's kept me on track, and that's what's kept my personal energies available to be of service when a lot of times, just like goat cheese, I don't like humanity that much. And I, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way in their own ways. So, you know, there's a great mystery and magic looking around the matrix and seeing people in their bubbles, but it's not necessarily the house you want to live in all the time. Right. <laughs> and the deceit and, the, and, the, and, the unconsciousness and the hateful intentions and the manipulation, all ultimately coming from an innocent place, ultimately. But nevertheless, the vibrations that are rampant throughout this planetary grid are kind of like goat cheese. No offense to goats, but... So, how then to keep being of service, my friends? How to keep shining bigger and greater and how to conquer all the obstacles and the challenges? And it is by surrendering over and over again to the love of God, that non-dual self-transcendent love that is, and in a relative fashion, when it comes to your relationship to the world, your life, other people, is to continue to intensify your service to others, to see, to sense their calling. 